Hello everyone, I hope you are doing great. Today we are going to see how to analyze the Likert scale using simple linear regression. So I have my research question that states, uh, does an effective time management predict the successful completion of projects? So I have two variables. So this is the uh, predictor variable that is effective time management and the successful completion of projects is the outcome uh, variable or the or the dependent variable okay so we want to see uh, the relationship between these two variables on a seven point Likert scale so i have to uh, my data already in uh, spaces so i'm going to go back to spaces and uh, look for the variables that i uh, want to uh, analyze so i have like in this uh, questionnaire i have in general uh, four scales so each scale has like a uh, four uh, statements as you can see in the label here so i am interested in the last two scales which are labeled the completion of projects and effective time management so i have to first uh, uh, calculate the mean score of these two scales that i'm interested in so the scale as you can see are from strongly disagree to strongly agree uh, so i have to calculate their uh, mean score so I have to go to uh, transform, compute variable and uh, move the, the scale or the items from scale. So I have, I want scale three and scale four. So I go to, uh, to statistic here, uh, statistical and choose mean and click on this icon and then start putting the items of uh, the the third scale so item one i'm going to select it like this and click on this icon then select this one uh, again and select item uh, two and uh, put comma and go on like this till i finish uh, with all the items in the scale again i'm going to name this as the successful completion of project so i'm going to uh, put it like this uh, s uh, c p so this means the uh, successful completion of projects uh, and then click ok so once i click ok i'm going to have uh, may a new variable created at the end which is called successful completion of projects all right so i'm going to click ok uh, so now it's, uh, it has been created. Uh, the same method is going to be applied to the second scale. Uh, and then uh, we run the analysis. So I already have them uh, here. So we have the two scales uh, computed. So I'm not going to keep uh, doing this. So I'm going to go to the analysis. So first I'm going to check the assumptions of simple linear regression by uh, investigating the linearity of these two variables so i'm going to go to uh, grass to visually check this go to chart builder and then uh, move this uh, scatter dot uh, okay from the gallery uh, click on it and move it so i already have it moved so i'm going to and uh, do this uh, so once you move this uh, you can just drag and drop it like this and then you go to the uh, the scales that is the main of the scale uh, that you want to uh, analyze so i have the the effective time management so uh, it's going to be the dependent uh, or the independent variable so it's going to be put in the x axis and the successful completion of project this is the uh, dependent variable which should be put in the y axis okay so i'm going to uh, click ok and have this uh, scatter plot and uh, double click on it uh, left click and then click on this icon uh, which uh, states add fit line at total so once we click on it and it's been created with the equation uh, so there is a linear relationship uh, this means that there is more or less positive correlation as you can see it's from the lowest to the highest so i can go on with the analysis of simple linear regression so going back to a spaces as to how to conduct uh, linear regression in spaces so we go to analyze and go to regression and uh, we choose linear and then we are going to move not the items of the scale we are going to move the main uh, score of the skills that we have calculated so i'm going to choose the uh, 
this means so I already this have just added so I already have them here so I'm going to choose the uh, fixed successful completion of projects that is uh, this is the 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 outcome variable so it should be put in the uh, dependent uh, variable okay we'll click on this arrow and as to uh, effective time management is it is the what we call the predictor or the independent variable so we are going to put it here so then in statistics i'm going to choose uh, to tick uh, model fit r squared uh, then Darwin uh, Watson uh, etc and then click uh, OK and then for the plots I'm going to uh, move this uh, Z predicted in the X axis because it is the predictor variable or as we said the independent variable and the Z residual in the Y axis and choose for for example uh, histogram and normality pro probability plot just to check the assumptions further so that uh, we can adopt the uh, the linear regression model okay and click continue and then click ok okay so uh, here is the analysis as you can see uh, for the method by the way it's enter so this is the the model in general so we have variables entered that is effective time management this is the uh, dependent variable which is the successful completion of projects and uh, the effective time management which is the predictor variable so then uh, we have model summary and we have when this model summary we are going to check the value of the uh, r square which is uh, 0 0.39 which is like 39 percent that this model can predict the the, the change or uh, the relationship in the future etc and uh, so i'm going to show you how to analyze so this is the anova table and this is uh, the model summary as we said and the residual statistics okay so let's uh, look uh, at the charts to check the normality so as you can see here so there is uh, this normally distributed data as you can see from the histogram then we have this linear relationship to some extent so we can here adopt the model from the normal uh, pp plot of a regression standardized residual uh, okay and then uh, we are going to see also the values of uh, the sconess and ketosis just to see uh, whether uh, the scale is uh, fit or not for, for also for uh, residuals uh, standardized uh, residuals I didn't uh, click on that option that's why I don't have it here I can go back to the analysis and add it I feel want uh, okay uh, so I'm going to show you how to analyze the value of uh, this model so I'm going to go to uh, data and I'm going to write for example linear regression was conducted to examine whether time management uh, that is the independent variable could uh, predict successful compression of projects that is the dependent variable a scatter approach showed that the relationship between efficient time management uh, influenced the successful completion of projects was positive uh, all right so uh, okay so this is how we can go about the interpretation and linear and did not reveal any bivariate outliers analysis of standardized uh, or standard residuals showed that the data contain no outliers so this is the standard standardized uh, residual minimum and maximum i uh, i told you from this table okay so this is the values we can tick them and use them in the interpretation uh, normally the this should be between uh, plus uh, and minus 3.28 okay so uh, this is uh, how we can see that uh, the values uh, respect uh, normality okay and then uh, we have uh, independence of residual errors was confirmed with Darwin Watson test D equals uh, 2.072 so I take these values uh, from Durban Watson test as I said uh, which again should be between uh, 1 to 3 uh, some something you just check uh, the literature to confirm this okay so this is this value okay then uh, we have uh, 
the residual plot showed homoscedasticity and normality of the residual. So I already showed you the, uh, the the plots. Okay, so in this model, for example, the ANOVA table, I just copy and paste it here. Uh, you can say that time management statistically significantly predicted successful completion of projects, and we put F here, uh, which equals between uh, that is the difference the uh, or degrees of freedom uh, between one and ninety nine. We put it like this equals. 64 so this is the if value and the p uh, value that is less than 0 0.01 which means that uh, we, it's significant at this level uh, accounting for 39 uh, percent of the variability so here there is this uh, variability percent uh, that we took from the the r squared or that, or that we can multiply by 100 to get this percentage okay uh, so it's took it's taken from the r squared table just not to confuse you because i didn't include all the tables here it's not uh, necessary to include tables you can just go about the analysis uh, and then you keep analyzing like this with adjusted r square equals 38 this is moderate, moderately strong relationship according to Cohen 1988 the correlation between time management and successful completion projects was statistically significant r uh, 99 uh, equals uh, six point uh, or 0 0.627 and p-value less than 0 0.01 so this is the the correlation because i reported this as well the regression equation for predicting the successful completion of projects uh, from the efficient time management was uh, this one so this is the uh, y value this is the dependent variable that is successful completion of projects and this is the x value that is the independent variable that is the efficient time management and we put this uh, this uh, equation here i got it from the uh, this table or this uh, graph the one that i showed you at the beginning okay and i put I put it there all right so that's it i think uh, if you have questions or remarks do not hesitate to post them below and see you in another tutorial